In bolt hole inspections, sometimes it is critical to know which layer an indication is located in. For example, the FAA issued an airworthiness directive for certain models of Piper airplanes concerning the cracking in the wing spars. The Piper Service Bulletin 1345 states that the pass-fail criteria is only applicable to the crack in the spar extrusion. This would be the center layer between the spar box and the doubler. So for this inspection, the location of any flaw must be determined. However, determining which layer an indication is located in can be quite difficult. But with the MIS 21C, the layer can be seen with the advanced C-scan display. Furthermore, the data is saved in the instrument so it can be reviewed after the scan. Uh, let me demonstrate. Here is a bolt hole data file that was recorded during the Piper Service Bulletin 1345 inspection. This is the familiar impedance and sweep display. But the MIS 21C has added a C scan display so you can see an image of the whole scan. The C scan display increases the probability of detection by enhancing the indication. As you can see here, it's very clear where the indications are located. Additionally, a second channel can be configured to show the layers of the bolt hole. Here's a different view. By using these two channels, it is very clear and easy to see which layer the indication is located. In this example, the indication is located in the spar extrusion layer. The MIS-21C comes with several different filters that can be used to clean up the signal so that a confident call can be made. The screen capture feature allows you to capture any part of the data for all your reporting needs. This is just another way that the MIS-21C takes eddy current inspections to the next level. For more information, visit our website at ztech.com and follow us on social media.